Well, thanks very much, Adrian, for the, uh, for the invitation to come over here. It's a great opportunity for me to learn just a little bit about the Manx language and, and your language struggles here and to share a little bit of my work. Uh, usually I do a presentation like this, well, quite often, with a young Ghana man, Jack Gunya Buckskin. Uh, but today you'll have to just hear it from me. Uh, so thanks very much, yeah. So I'm talking about uh, Ghana language reclamation, uh, Ghana being the language of Adelaide in South Australia. And uh, it's customary at events like this uh, in Adelaide that we begin with some words from the Ghana language. So something like this. <coughs> Maning adlo tampandi, adlo manx yatanga banba banba palyanendi. Ngai pindi miu, mai miu nali changa warpalayendi. Ngai puti puti nali changa in parendi. Ngai cho yungandalya, yakanandalya. So that's how the language sounds. Um, it's good that we acknowledge that we're meeting on manx land. I'm a non-indigenous person who works with Ghana people. Very happy to meet with you, my dear brothers and sisters. There weren't really words for please and thank you in Aboriginal languages, but uh, that's how people kind of convey the intent of thanking, my dear brothers and sisters. Now, the so-called last speaker, a lady by the name of Eva Ritchie, died in 1929. Uh, it would seem that uh, she grew up as a first language speaker of the Ghana language. She was one of the children who went to school, taught to read and write in her own language by German missionaries. But by the time uh, people worked with her, shortly before her death, she really remembered very, very little of the language. I estimate that Ghana was probably last spoken on an everyday basis uh, in the early 1860s. So about 150 years ago. Uh, the language was documented in the 1830s, 1840s by German missionaries, uh, Christian Teichelmann and Clemo Sherman. Uh, and there were some other word lists compiled as well by other English observers and French observers and another German doctor. We don't have any sound recordings of the traditional language as it was uh, spoken then. Well, what happened? The um, first fleet arrived in Botany Bay in Sydney, over on the east coast of Australia, in 1788, with their shiploads of convicts from the mother country. And shortly after their arrival, there was a smallpox epidemic, which uh, reached down to South Australia and reduced the Ghana population significantly. Uh, it spread down the river systems and the trading networks. There was a second smallpox epidemic in the early 1820s. So all this happened long before colonisation in South Australia, long before Ghana people even met a white person. Uh, after colonisation, we know that uh, other epidemics struck, typhoid, <coughs> uh, influenza, lots of other different diseases and the population plummeted.